Hi, I'm Dr. Jim Davis from UCSF Fresno. I'm going to talk about intercostal nerve blocks with liposomal bupivacaine in the management of patients with rib fractures. Rib fractures are common thoracic injuries and they're highly morbid, especially in the elderly. The mainstay of treatment for rib fractures is a vigorous pulmonary toilet to allow recovery. Thoracic epidural analgesia has been considered the gold standard method of delivering this analgesia. However, it's not always easy to get a thoracic epidural place, particularly at two o'clock in the morning. Intercostal nerve blocks, on the other hand, are always available, easy to perform, and have a low complication rate. Their popularity has been limited by the short duration of anesthetic. Liposomal bupivacaine has been reported to last for up to 96 hours. We therefore sought to determine if intercostal nerve blocks with liposomal bupivacaine or could be as effective as epidural analgesia. We performed a retrospective review over five years uh, of patients with rib fractures who received either an epidural catheter for analgesia or intercostal nerve blocks with liposomal bupivacaine and matched the patients for age, gender, injury severity score, and number of rib fractures. Patients who got intercostal nerve blocks required intubation far less frequently, had shorter ICU length of stay and hospital length of stay, and had a much lower complication rate than the patients that got thoracic epidural catheter placement. In conclusion, intercostal nerve blocks with liposomal bupivacaine versus thoracic epidural analgesia had fewer intubations, shorter ICU and hospital length of stay. Intercostal nerve blocks are easy to perform and have a low complication rate. Thank you.